I say go, all that I would like you to do is without saying a word, just hold eye contact with one person in this room, but only when I say go, for a full five seconds. Now the key here is to try and do it without saying a word. Silence is the powerful piece. Five seconds, holding eye contact with a person, ready, silently, go. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Notice what just happened in this amazing room of people. All that I asked you to do was hold eye contact for five seconds. Mind you, I made them long seconds but I asked you to not say a word. And because you're a keen audience, you followed it to the T. But then the moment that I hit the number five, some of you were just like, <laughs> <laughs> And there were about two main responses to that little activity. The first group of you, you were just like, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Could have gone longer. <laughs> then the second group of you, you were just like, nobody's looking at me. <laughs> and some of you in this room right now are just like, oh. Some of you are like, that was me. And you giggle because it's kind of a silly activity and we're having some fun in this room right now. Yet I can't think of a more effective and quick version to demonstrate how we go about our daily lives in this day and age. Because by a show of hands, who here would say that you quite often look at your feet or your phone when walking around town? All right, for the internet, that's a lot of hands that just went up in case you could not see. I'm guilty of this too. If I'm walking around the city streets or anywhere for that matter, I find that I look at my feet or my phone, unless I take a moment to stop and switch my perspective, switch that default setting, which is to look down and flip it to, wait a minute, connect. Look at other human beings. They're everywhere and they're awesome. And so my challenge to you today, not just for this event, but in general, is to catch yourself when you do this. Because I don't know if it's a gravity thing or a technology thing, but I find that a lot of us just sort of dip down rather than look up. And think of the things that you're missing by doing that. When we look down, I mean, we've seen this before. Hey, same shoes I had yesterday. I don't own very many shoes. Oh yeah, my phone is still doing the same kind of thing. I'm just scrolling through nonsense. Creep. Creep, creep. <laughs> Whereas when we look up, the opportunity there is that we might see someone we've not seen before, or we might see someone that we already know, but we now get to see them again. But here's the thing. That is terrifying to some people. Take today, for example. Here at this conference, I know that for myself, for the last few hours, I've just been in my head thinking about what will we be doing today? What will be on stage today? How are we going to go through from moment one to the final moment to create this amazing experience? So I wasn't exactly caught up in like looking around, smiling and waving and saying hey to my newfound friends. That'll happen throughout the day. Yet, when we look at each other in the eye, even for people who don't see in that moment, you can sense it. You, you know when someone is looking at you. Because in the bad situation, it's like, someone's looking at me. But in the good situation, it's nice to feel noticed. It's nice to feel acknowledged. It's nice to feel appreciated. So for starters, it's that reminder to look up and engage. I don't mean hold eye contact for five seconds. I just mean catch eyes with a stranger Maybe smile, perhaps even go as boldly in the direction of saying, hey, around town. And that leads me to the other thing. 
I find that if I don't pay attention, my face defaults to either neutral or frown. As an example, think of a subway car. If you look at a group of people in a subway, it looks like they had a bad day. And they're on their way to having a worse one. Because they're just frowning, maybe neutral at best. So another little switch for ourselves as leaders in this community, whether it's in person or online, is to do things to carry ourselves around by reminding us that, wait a minute, smile. Try it right now. Everyone, just fake a smile, a big one. But don't laugh. Huge smile, but don't laugh. Go. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I get it. I get it. But it looks awesome up here. So as we have way more excuses every day around, well, I'm busy. I have a lot on the go. I have so much schoolwork. I have commitments. I have a phone to look at. It's a lot on my plate. Two things that we can switch that might just change how we go about a day and who we can engage along the way. First switch, instead of looking down at our feet or our phone, consider looking up eye level with other human beings. It's a little bit out of our comfort zone perhaps, but we get to see some people along the way. Second thing, it's funny, but if we don't think about it, gravity just makes our face kind of frown. But when we think about it, we can remember to smile a little bit, if not a lot. And I think that's basically a metaphor for all things. Because if we don't put in the work, times get tough. But if we put in the work, positivity can override everything. So whether it's looking up just to catch eyes, or reminding yourself to do something as simple as a smile, whether it's today at this conference, or for the rest of time, I find that those are two simple little things that every single day, each of us could remember to switch. So that instead of looking down and missing things, we look up and then we get to experience things. Just a thought.